Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are on page 143, and our objective for today is, today I will solve a multiplication problem involving a multiplicative comparison with unknowns. Whew, that is quite a goal today. So let's look at that. Today I will solve a multiplication problem. So we know what that is involving a multiplicative comparison. We've done this in the past lesson. Here's our multiplicative comparisons that the multiplication sign can say times as many as, times as long as, or times as much as with unknowns. So we're going to have these comparisons and we're going to be solving some multiplication problems. It sounds a lot more complicated than it is. Okay, let's look at our vocabulary before we get started. Just a reminder, the equal sign we say is. Okay, so I could say 10 feet is two times as long as five feet. Okay, so that make sure we have the is for our equal sign and then they give us an example. Okay, which I just wrote on. Let's look at our steps. What is being compared? And you are gonna write or draw the known information for each and then solve the equation. Okay, so I'm gonna jump in and get started so you can see what these look like. Here is my first problem. And it says, Brian picked 40 oranges. He picked five times as many oranges as Bob. How many oranges did Bob pick? Okay, so if I was doing this, I would probably put some notes down. So we know that Brian picked 40. That's key. He picked five times as many as Bob. So I have five times as many. Okay, so that's an important part. So what I have is Brian, Brian over here has 40, which is, Brian's 40 is five times as many, that's what this is gonna stand for. So Brian's 40 is, I could say, there's my is, five times as many as Bob's. So what could I plug in here to make this correct? So Brian's 40 is five times as many as Bob's. Well, five times what equals 40? Five times eight equals 40. So my answer is Brian's 40 is five times as many as Bob's eight oranges. So our answer would be eight oranges. Okay, let's look at our next one. It says, the giraffe in the zoo is three times as tall as the zebra. Okay, so we have a giraffe and he's three times as tall as the zebra. So last, in the last one, I knew Brian was 40. This time I don't know how tall the giraffe is. So the giraffe, I don't know. I know he's three times as tall as the zebra. And I know the zebra is seven feet tall. So instead of zebra, I could say seven feet right here because zebra and seven feet are the same thing. So three times as tall as seven feet. So what we don't know is the question is how tall is the giraffe? Justify your answer with a drawing. So I might jump in to do my drawing first. That might actually help me. So if the zebra is seven feet, let's see, he's that tall, seven. 
Well, it says the giraffe is three times that. So I can say that section, which is seven, this section, which is another seven, and that section, which is another seven. So if this is my zebra, that's my giraffe, and there's going to be three sevens, which means I know the giraffe must be 21 feet. So how could I set that up? Well, I could say the giraffe is three times as tall as seven feet. So what is our answer? Our answer is 21. So we could say 21 feet is three times as tall as seven feet. So our answer is 21, and then I even justified it with the picture. Okay, let's look at another one. I know normally I only do two, but today I'm gonna to do three. It says, a single sunflower cost $4. A bunch of sunflowers cost $24. How many times as much does the bunch of sunflowers cost than the single flower? Okay, well, so what are we looking for? We have 24 is how many times as much as the single sunflower, which is $4. So 24 is how many times as much as the single sunflower, which is four. So what number could go there? What times four gives me 24? Well, I know that's six. So I know my answer would have to be six times as much. So 24 is six times as much as $4. So we can say six times as much as. Okay, let's try some of these. They're a little bit different. Let's see how we do working together. Give you some good notes for when you have to do them on your own. Here is our first one, and I am on page 144. On page 144, and it says, a piece of yarn is six inches long. A piece of ribbon is 48 inches long. How many times longer is the piece of ribbon than the yarn? So we have a piece of yarn is six inches and a piece of ribbon is 48 inches. And they wanna know how many times longer. So we don't know the how many times. So I know 48 is how many, we don't know, how many times longer than six inches. That's what we don't know. So it's 48 is how many times longer than six inches? And this is our missing number. Hmm, so what times six will give us 48? I know five times six is 30, six times six is 36, seven times six is 42, and eight times six is 48. So our answer must be eight inches. Okay, let's look at our next one. It says, there are 30 red marbles in a jar. There are five times as many red marbles as blue marbles. Okay, that's a little tricky. So there's five times as many red as blue. So I know there's gonna be less blue. And I know it's five times as many as. So I know the five goes here. So five times as many as blue, and we don't know blue. So it says how many blue marbles are there? Okay, and then we, they want us to justify. So 30 is five times as many as what? What goes here? That would be six. So they want us to draw this as a picture. Well, if I did my red, I could draw them. There's five, 10, 15, 
20, 25, 30. So I have an array, an array that has five across and six down. Well, I figured out the blue only has six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So it has one column of the reds, but the red has one, two, three, four, five columns, and the blue only has one column. So we could justify it by drawing that picture. Okay, boys and girls, try some of these on your own. Make sure that if it asks you to justify it with the picture, you do the best you can. Have a wonderful day, bye.